Morning guys, YouTube people world. Every wee rare. Alright, half fast. Welcome back. Back at it. Got some oil leaking. Alright, so I got some upgrades for the first gen. First gen. Yeah. You guys already saw probably the video. Let's see if I can't lighten this up. Yeah, so lift pump is all ready to go, and then we got a turb ski, a turbo rebuild kit. Might be too light now. So we got a uh, bought it off of eBay, but it's from Turbo Lab America. Um, he's a YouTube guy. And uh, basically what he does, he just mills all these out. So he buys these thrust washer things, blanks. Then he drills them himself so they have right, the correct oil passages. Um, and then it comes with all the bearings. Comes with the uh, new bearings, circlips, the little spacers, thrust spacer things and then a new upgraded thrust washer and then uh it comes with a machined uh turbine housing i guess you call it so it says 62 i can't remember the specs on it but he machines this to the wheel it's a billet wheel um, with the serial number, I guess. I think that's a serial number. Uh, yeah, so, he basically machines this whole housing. Machines, you know, makes these. Uh, seven blade. I'll get all the specs in a second, but. But, yeah, so this is, uh, what we're going to be doing to the kid's truck. To the, uh, the 93... Dodge Ram D250. Anyway. Um, I didn't know if he wanted to paint it. He did, and then I asked him. He said he wanted to paint it, but he wanted some weird color. Some Mazda Soul Red Crystal something or other. And it's like 60 bucks a can. <laughs> so he said, uh, never mind. We'll just put it in normal. Put it in natural, so possibly might be doing this this weekend. However, um, previous video I said I'm going to pick up a dog. I lied. It's not dog. It's Dodge. A Dodge. Another truck. Another truck. Another truck. Yeah, another truck. Or should I say, another project. But yeah, it's a good deal. Got a truck full of parts. Follow me on Instagram. You would have seen. You'd know what, what we already picked up. So, it's another first gen. So we got some fenders for it. Some extra seats. Oh, a hitch. A door is probably no good because it's completely cut. Two front fenders, a tailgate, um, a cowl. The cowl is missing. These parts are all extra except for the cowl. The cowl is off the truck. <sighs> so, I'm going to have to unload all this crap. And then we got something down in here too. Not sure if you can see that. It's an ex an extra P pump. So I won't go over the details about the truck until it gets here. It's supposed to be here today. So yeah, it was a big big old cluster yesterday, and or actually the whole trip. <clears throat> we went up there. Um, 
we go up there, we get up there, and, um, yeah, it was a big old cluster. Also, we went thrift shopping while we were there, so that kind of threw it into the works, because the kid's like, well, you can't come till five, you know. When I originally planned all this out, we were supposed to go up there, pay for the truck, and have a shipping company meet, and the kid said, yeah, he'll come home, he'll take lunch, he'll meet us over there. So we get up there, and we go to the hotel to check in. Around 2 o'clock, lady tells me we can't check in till 3, which is no big deal. So I'm like, alright, well, let's go to the thrift store down the street. So we go to the thrift store, shopping forever. Um, and then the uh, guy texts me, oh, so come after 5. And I was like, alright, whatever, dude. So we go, we uh, check into the hotel. Check in the hotel, then we shoot up there, calling the trucking company, calling them, calling them, calling them. No answer, no nothing. So, uh, yeah, anyway, he ended up calling me back later that night after we were already in the hotel about to go to bed. Um, but yeah, so we went up there Wednesday, and I don't know, I'm lost. We basically went up and we were just running around the whole time. So I went up there Wednesday, got up there like I said too, met whoever, we went to the guy's house after five <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I was just going to have AAA tow it. So I called AAA, they're like, okay, tow truck will be there in 90 minutes. All right, cool. Tow truck company calls me. Oh, we're not towing the vehicle because it's not registered and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yep, but that's not my policy. My policy says that you're towing me. The policy isn't for the vehicle. And so I'm telling the guy on the phone, I'm like, is your truck registered? And he goes, yeah. I said, okay, bring a flatbed, a tow truck flatbed. You load it on your truck that's registered and insured, and you drive it to where I need it to go. You know, and I'm like, that's my policy. My policy is to, to get me where I need to go for up to 100 miles. But anyway, guys, oh, yeah, that's not what we do. And we're not going to Stockton. He's all, Stockton's out of our range. I was like, okay, so then why does why does uh, you, uh, AAA call, even call you? So we called AAA, told them. AAA lady goes, no. It doesn't matter about the vehicle. It doesn't matter whatever. they If they have a contract with us, they have to pick you up. You're, in, you're insured for yourself, not the vehicle. The vehicle will be towed. So she chewed whoever. She, she said she was going to call them. And I told her about how they're not... They said that they can only go, I think it was like 72 miles. And then after that, I'd have to claim another claim to, for them to go an additional the rest of the way, which is like another 20 miles. And I was like, no, I have a 100-mile policy. But anyway, it's a big old cluster. So I said, you know what, dude? I said, we'll just go get the truck registered tomorrow because that was the only trucking company, the only tow truck company up there. So I'm like, you know what? We'll just go get the truck registered tomorrow. I'll call that stupid trucking company, and they're bringing it to Stockton to where I'm working right now. And... Uh, <clears throat> um. Yeah, or they can figure it out, or AAA can comp me the other 20 miles, whatever it is, for another towing, towing company. Um, yeah, anyway, it's a long, long, boring story, but yeah, the, uh, wake up the next morning, actually a dude called me from the shipping company, and uh, was like, yeah, I'm gonna, let me call the driver, I'm gonna call the driver real quick, I'm gonna call this guy and see if he's still in the area. Calls me back. Dude's not in the area. I'm going to call somebody else. So they ended up calling a hot shot truck driver who was in the area. Real nice guy. Real cool guy. He actually he actually lives 20 miles from me. So he's dropping the truck off and then going home for the weekend. Um, but yeah, they wanted 50 more dollars. And I'm like, you know what? At this point, I don't care. I'll pay the guy 50 extra bucks. Just tell him to come pick it up. And it was in a real tight location. And I'm thinking, you know, hot shot, okay, he's got a flatbed trailer instead of a, a semi-truck like car hauler. Because a car hauler wouldn't have fit, wouldn't have worked. Um, yeah, I don't really know. 
It's just a, it was just a big long cluster. The guy was then the hot shot guy was supposed to be there at twelve thirty. Didn't show up till two thirty. Then the truck wouldn't start. Then this this stupid girl that you know knows everything, because you know women know everything. But anyway, the starter was stuck, or actually the starter relay was stuck, like on. So it was cooking the cables. So I took the you know pulled the cables off because and I burnt my fingers, and I pulled the cables off because you know killing power. So I'm looking over everything, and she's taking a screwdriver and beating the battery posts, and I'm like, and I'm like, look. I'm like, just slow down. You know, she's a real high strung. I don't even know how drunk this girl. But. Um. Oh, whatever that. Sounds low. But anyway, so she's beating on the battery. And then she's like, oh. And then her mom's like, oh. Just hit the starter. Which, yeah, hit the starter, but this stupid girl goes under the truck and starts hitting on the exhaust. She goes, okay, that ought to work. And I'm like, well, the starter's on this side. She goes, no. I was like, okay. I'm just like, whatever. You know, their house, their, she's girl power, whatever. Let her do her thing. So sure enough, it doesn't work again. So I start messing with the relay, pull the relay out, plug the relay back in. Everything starts to, to work again. She goes, okay, I think I got it. I was like, okay. Okay, yeah, you got it. And then uh, the truck started. Um, but yeah, so batteries, they got two batteries in the truck. And one's an Optima battery, which is junk to begin with. And then they got this other battery. So basically they got two 9-volt batteries in there. Trying to start a big old Cummins. Because <laughs> they're both batteries are just junk. So I gotta get ready. I gotta get jumper cables ready. I gotta get a battery out of the shipping container that's charged and ready to go. And I'm gonna bring my jump box out there to unload it. So just fire it up, unload it, let dude go home. You know, pay him, let him go home. Um, because he kind of got screwed yesterday because he was supposed to pick up two cars and the truck. And the truck, the, or he was supposed to pick up a truck, a car, and a truck, and our truck. And he picked, he didn't pick up anything, but he went to go pick up the truck and dude said, oh, I'm not selling it anymore. So whatever. So then he went to go pick up the car. He was supposed to come pick up our truck first and then got a call to go pick up a car. Shows up to pick up the car. They changed their mind. So I kind of feel bad for the guy, but I don't know if that's, if that's their job, if that's just a daily occurrence. Um, I feel bad for the guy. But at the same time, I'm glad he didn't pick up any of those cars because you'll see when he pulls up. I'll do a video, but there's not much room on his trailer. He's got a 40-foot trailer, and that truck takes up a lot of his trailer. Um, so I'm glad it all worked out the way it did. So we ended up getting off, getting food, and uh, ended up passing him on the freeway. We drove all the way through. He couldn't drive because his uh, DOT hours... He wasn't able to drive uh, after, I don't know, a certain amount of time. So then he has to take his 10 hours rest. So he'll call me. He'll be here around noon-ish. So I'm just going to get everything ready, get everything unloaded. And, uh, yeah, you guys will see the truck in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. And, uh, yeah, no dog. There ain't no dog. See you guys on the next one. Later.